Okay, so the steps for graphing a rational function. Usually they don't give it to you in a factored form, but um, you're going to have some function, you know, f of x, and um, you're going to find the y-intercept. So you're going to find f of 0. It's easier to do that before you do the factoring. Um, then you're going to factor. You're going to factor the numerator and the denominator. Then you're going to find the x-intercepts. The x-intercepts come from setting the numerator equal to 0. That's where the x-intercepts come from. For those um, x-intercepts, you want to find the multiplicities. And then that's going to tell you if stuff bounces, crosses, or flattens. Um, generally, they don't get too complicated when we're trying to do these by hand, so the degrees don't get extremely high, generally. Um, then you're going to find the vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptotes come from setting the denominator equal to 0. That says denominator. Um, so then you'll have your vertical asymptotes. Now, you might consider um, if it's 1 over x, or 1 over x squared, like if it's going to go in the same direction when it approaches the particular asymptote, or if it's going to go in opposite directions. Okay, uh, you might want to wait till it's time to sketch it to do that. Okay, the removable discontinuities. Okay, so after you've factored, now you're going to cancel um, any like factors that are in the numerator and the denominator, right? Okay, now this is kind of important, and you're going to have to say when that happens, there's a removable discontinuity at a particular number, you know. So say x plus 1 is canceled, and at negative 1, that's where the removable discontinuity is. To actually find where to put that hole, and we haven't talked about this yet, but we're going to do it right now, you have to find f of that RD, that removable discontinuity. Um, hopefully we'll get an example where we can do that. Uh, you have to do that after you've done the canceling. If you do it before, it's going to uh, be undefined. So you have to plug it in after you do the canceling. Okay. And then you're going to look at the horizontal or slant asymptotes, and that goes by the degrees of the numerator and the denominator, and you have the three cases. Okay, so I always like to do graph my um, asymptotes first, and then I start uh, putting in the x-intercepts, the y-intercepts, and then finally we're going to try to sketch the graph.